hi guys this is the 24th model of this particular weather application uh, we continue from where we start which is the constraint layout we'll be enhancing more on this particular layout by creating a today list item inside this layout are uh, we still moving down to our source files where we still have them right intact in the layout which is the rest layout the xml we need to create uh, a layout xml called the list item forecast today xml which is actually holding on to the present day uh data value whereby you're going to have a constraint uh layout tag which is the address support constraint this particular tag you know uh where you have the padding bottom and top 16 dps uh you have the guideline the address support constraint gui guideline where we assign an id to equal to the horizontal middle and the layout with an height wrap content where the rotation is vertical. Now look closely. The layout constraint guide percentage is 0.5, while the editor absolute x and y, you know, which are the coordinates, uh, is 192 dp to 0 dp. So the y is going to be 0 dp, which is actually going to sit at the right at the top. Um, and we have the closing bar, which is the Android constraint uh, layout to close up to wrap up the XML layout afterwards we'll be looking at the forecast adapter you know, to actually uh, code up the constraint layout for the present day uh we need to declare the integer view type today we added this to this uh this constraint id for the view type today and for a future day you no know, the view type future day which is we actually assign an integer zero to the today and one to the future day afterwards uh we need to declare a private boolean called mu's today layout and uh we we need to uh complete uh the switch case so if the view type of the layout is today you're going to use the today layout that's for the particular uh layout that the view type today if it's if the case is the view type today so the layout id is going to call the list item forecast today that's the xml i just mentioned uh, if the view type of the layout is future day, the use type, the use future day will be the layout forecast list item. You know, that's for the future day and for the today. Focus him on the today. And uh, you're going to throw an illegal, illegal argument exception if there's none of these uh, arguments being called. So that's what this is doing. Uh, we're still going to complete the switch of this uh, unbind view order. Where if the view type of the layout is today, you're going to display a large icon. So if the case is view type today, uh, you're going to into this weather image ID uh, variable, you're going to get the large resource, the large art resource ID for the weather condition, passing the weather ID as the parameter. Um, if the view type of the layout is today, you're going to display a small icon. But that's for the future day, rather. It's going to display a small icon. Uh, whereby you're going to get the small art resource id for the feed for the weather condition uh, otherwise uh you're going to create an illegal argument exception that's cool uh that's some inclusion that we have to really do right there to really trigger the today uh constraint layout uh if the m use today layout and the position is equals to zero so within the get item view type if the m used today layout is true and the position is zero it's going to return the id for today view type and uh, otherwise it's going to return the id for the future day you know that's the else statement uh that's 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 the that's the uh few changes that i'll be doing right in this particular module which is the constraint layout for today list item uh i'll be showing you the screencast of this uh particular uh module and you get to see how we, uh, we actually uh, trick up the constraint layout to declare or to show up uh, to the today, uh, that's the present day uh, weather data. This is Sunday, which is uh, the Christmas day. I wish everybody uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. And uh, stay tuned to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, I, uh, I give kudos to you guys for hanging out with me and uh, for even helping me to improve more on uh, the the kind of tutorials I deliver. Uh, bless you guys and uh, our God will continue to sustain and sustain every one of us. Thank you and uh, stay tuned.